Hey guys, and what is going on today? How are you guys doing? Welcome to a high level guide for people that are l mainly looking to get a lot of bandle skills in a trip, really fast skills, and don't really specifically care too much about using money to get there. Ma so mainly for people like me that are that are wanting to get a bandle's pet. This is a guide on how to kill bandles with magic, and this is the duo version. In theory, you could do almost the same thing solo, but let's mainly focus on duo trips. Duo trips will last about 80 to 100 kills. As you can see, I barely take any food. We, you, you don't really need it. Uh, you get bones and you get some food drops there just in case you do, but generally you don't need any food. You just need restores and magic. For this method, I would recommend to take maximum mage. I don't really know how good this would be in Arams. I do know it will be less good. Every time you throw a barrage at bandits, you want it to freeze and it doesn't always happen. Uh, also with two people it's also much more likely of course, but without max mage you will just not freeze that much and you will just run around too much and get hit by bandos. So I would actually recommend to not try this unless you have at least arcane, at least uh, augury. Without augury don't even give it a go. Uh, the impute heart makes it very nice. Uh, I don't think you would desperately need a code I want, you could probably use a stuff of the dead. That would probably work very well. Other than that, please try this out with Max Mage. Um, otherwise, you might run into some issues with accuracy. So, yes, uh, of course, the Occult Necklace and the Dominant Bracelet for damage increasing. Sigurd's Ring for maximum magic accuracy bonus. And a Trident for the normal damages. Trident is higher DPS than using Barrage. So, I would recommend using that. Um, make sure that it's full when you go there, so not like 115k charges. Make sure it's full there, you might use a lot of them in one trip. Of course, Bone to Peaches for just in case you do need some health. Teleport there. Death Runes and Blood Runes and Water Runes. I do suggest to bring Water Runes along. I know the Kota one gives unlimited Water Runes. However, sometimes you need to quickly freeze Bandles and sometimes you don't have the time to equip the Wand. So I would definitely recommend to bring Water Runes along as well. So that is the inventory, let's head over to the kill itself, and I will show you guys how easy it is to kill it. Alright, you always start the kill in the same corner, in this specific corner you stand ready with your barrage, and you hope to freeze Bandos instantly, and it definitely happened this time. Uh, you also instantly freeze the minion, you can make a deal with your partner who is freezing the melee minion, our deal was the person who gets the last kill will freeze the melee minion, of course freezing the melee minion will cost you a hit so it's less likely for you to get the kill so that makes it very evenly divided who might get the kill uh, so then you walk over to the other corner and when Benos gets unf unfrozen you freeze it again and then you walk into the third corner doing so doing so by running into these three corners you uh, you line up the magic and range minion on almost the same spot at least directly next to each other and then when you lure over the melee minion you can then throw a barrage pile at them and heal up very very fast and very easily only one person has to tank it so again stand in corner throw barrages at it until it's frozen doesn't always work as you wish but that's just how you got to deal with it generally it's always frozen in two or three hits um, you could use long range as you see here to more easily reach the corner that's what i would recommend the speed of the magic spell is still the same whether you are on long range or on rapid or whatever it's just a very minor difference in accuracy so yes you can stand in the corner when he is walking uh, again you can just throw a bear to him again and then you walk into the third corner you have to make sure that you touch all the corners in order for the uh, minions to be lined up correctly and then you just finish off the kill again this was a somewhat longer kill generally kills are much faster than this one you can also decide to freeze the melee minion again. I would definitely recommend it because the melee minion is actually really really painful. He, um, he likes to hit you on your on your robes. The, ma the mage minion isn't that, that, that deadly. And then you just finish off the kill as usual and you just make sure that you don't get hit. Every time when Benzo gets close of course you pray melee but I don't think I need to tell you that one. I think that's pretty normal knowledge. And then again after Bandos dies you just make sure that you pile up all the minions again. So you can use Blood Barrage to heal up again. Even in this long kill, we didn't use much hit points and you can just heal up in two or three casts again. I would say, really nice method. Hopefully you guys were informed. I wish you the best of luck on Bandos Pets and a lot of Bandos items as well.
Bye bye.